Here are some RX-7 turbine housings that I did some machine work for a customer. To give you an idea of what you can do with these turbine housings, they can be machined for a whole set HX-35 or HX-40, but in this video, the housings that I, ha that I machined, I machined them for a T-350 turbine. They can also be machined for a P-trim turbine, but apparently, according to this guy's research, a P-trim turbine was a little bit laggy for the RX-7. So, to give you an idea how to do this, you have to grab it by the bearing housing side and then machine the opposite side. And then you can line it up by grabbing the side that you machined on the uh, downpipe side and then uh, machine the bearing housing side to accommodate for the wheel and the radius. Here's the finished product after I machined the first one. This was a guy that wanted me to do two of them. So he also wanted me to do three more, but he wanted to start me off with two. Once the inside diameter is bored out, it then can be machined for the radius. The way to calculate where the radius is gonna go is you put the heat shield in and then move the shaft out towards the dial indicator. When the shaft is installed, the distance between the turbine wheel and the heat shield is 55 thousandths. Since we know that measurement, we can calculate that the turbine shaft needs to sit 20 thousandths away from the housing. So what we look for when trying to pull the shaft towards the dial indicator with the heat shield in position, you'll have 75 thousandths total. Here's the finished product of both housings. As you can see, I also machined a little bit where the heat shield sits and I machined where the bearing housing bolts are. This just helps to straighten it out in case there is any warpage there, which it was probably off by about one to two thousandths. But by the time I straightened that out, it also helps realign it in case my alignment was a little bit off. The whole point of this video was to show you guys what is possible to do with RX-7 turbine housing and the RX-7 turbo. As you can see, there's kind of a lot you can do with them. If you need a job like this done, you can always contact us at turbolabamerica at gmail.com. Also, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one.